Hey guys, Fat Preacher Man here, coming at you with another commentary on Fallout. And as you can see, this is picking right up from uh, number 10, part A. Just finished the Come Fly With Me quest and leveling up from all those experience points we got. And uh, while you're taking a look at that, just wanted to talk about a couple things today. I really want to talk some shop for those of you who may be. Uh, doing commentaries yourself, have your own YouTube channel, and you happen to be watching this stuff with me. Um, I had some questions, and if you have answers, I'd love to hear them, either in a uh, video response, uh, message, or uh, just a note. I had uh, been directed by one of my friends, PC Pancake, uh, great guy, um, uh, about Social Blade, and I have already been using AdSense. Um, Social Blade won't accept my Fat Preacher Man page. They will accept the church page. But they won't accept the Fat Preacher Man page. I kind of like the idea of having them both going to the same thing. But I am open to the other one. I'm just curious if anybody's had experience with both. Um, and what kind of differences you see. Uh, which one you think is better. Which one um, pays more. Which one pays more in time. Uh, benefits, drawbacks, things like that. Um, you know, Social Blade itself, is, it seems pretty interesting, even if, uh, you know, you're not going to sign up with them. You can always just check it out. You can type in your account name, and it will bring up information about it. You can track your stats. It's pretty cool. You can even look up other YouTubers' accounts. Um, I did it for, like, a couple of the big guys to see how their accounts look. And it's pretty interesting information. And again, that's socialblade.com. Uh, right now, I monetize my stuff through AdSense. Um, and and they're, they're treating me okay, I believe. Uh, but, again, I don't have too much to base that off of because I've only been working with them. So any of you who have a little more experience in this field, I'd love that input. The other thing I'd like to talk about is uh, game capture. Um, I had recently asked, again, my friend PC Banking what he was using. And uh, I, I myself, I put out that video showing you what I use, but I'm curious about what you other guys out there are using and what you find to be better. I even saw um, uh, on my feed, I think it was because PC had uh, had uh, watched it, so it showed up on my feed from him, uh, a video where somebody was comparing a couple of the big ones. Uh, what was it? Uh, Game Cap by Roxio, which is what I have. I have the earlier version. And then they were comparing a couple other ones. But, uh, and that was a pretty interesting thing, and it had links. So you can see the difference between quality and cost is pretty much the same. They're all about 150 a little bit less, a little bit more. But the quality was supposed to be about the same, so. Uh, and back to this video while we're at it. I always like to do this before I leave. I know I'm done because I pretty much won't be coming back here. So instead of just taking the easy way out, I'm taking the long way out and looking through everything because uh, the creators of Fallout love to hide stuff. Um, some stuff is useless and some stuff is really helpful. Um, I know I've still got to go back to a prim and uh, with an updated lock skill and uh, get into some of the stuff they had locked up there. And anytime you can open a lock, anytime you can hack a computer, you want to do it because it's going to give you that extra experience and uh, also help you get you along your way to your trophies if you need it. So, oh yeah, and don't forget to turn on your uh, pit boy light, that helps out a lot. Uh, if you're playing on the PS3 like I am, then you just hold the circle button for a minute. I really a minute. Maybe like five seconds. And then the pip the pip oil it'll pop on. Gives you a little extra light in dark situations. Which is more than useful. And uh as you can see I didn't invest a whole lot in strength. So I have to be more careful and uh, picky about what I pick up. Even though I got two followers now, I got Eddie and Boom. Still want to be just a little bit more careful. So here we are, pretty much done. I think I got everything that is really useful. But again, never hurts to double check. They sure do like putting garbage in this stuff. But uh, scrap metal is always useful. Cameras are useful. They sell for a decent amount. And the more you build up your barter, the more the more useful these things would be. I was surprised um, from three to this one. Fallout 3 to Fallout New Vegas, that there is no purpose 
at least in this world, at least not until you get to the add-on for the uh, for the pre-war books. And once you get the add-on, there's a use for them. But right now there is. And again, see every lock, 30 experience. That's always useful. Unless, of course, you have um, World Rested Bonus, which is good to get. Or, um, and which is pretty easy to get. You just get a place that's your bed or a bed that you've rented. And you sleep, and you wake up, and you get the World Rested Bonus. And I think that gives you 10% extra experience. And then you can also, um, you know, increase experience with uh, some of the perks. I don't personally waste any of my perks on that because you'll get to a point where experience is useless. And uh, so I just find other ways to boost up my experience. Um, so as you can see from the last one I cut 10. A little long. This is going to be about 18 minutes, I believe. Last one was seven minutes, so total 25 minutes. Uh, but I cut, I cut it up into two sections, so I get that short, brief one out, and then I'm going to do this one. There we go. Some of that. Um, put on the shelves. Put on the Lockers are always good, and that's the nice thing also that they tell you just by running your. Uh, your uh, cursor over it, whether there's anything in it or not, so you don't have to open up everything, which is help save some time. Those are especially good if you're playing on hardcore, keeping a lot of beverages on you, because it will, it will come up. That dehydration thing will tell you. I'm gonna go out here, and I uh, got a couple things we need to do now. Need to go back. To Boone's old partner and Novak, and let them know that everything's been taken care of. I want to sell some of the stuff we found, so I can go to Old Lady Gibson, or I can go to the guy in the Dynabite uh, gift shop. Um, and because we have helped out so much, uh, you'll see that the guy who runs the Dynabite, since the lady got killed by Boone, he basically takes over the town now, and they will give me a room which is useful. It's right above like the, the main thing and uh, you're a little safe, get your own bed and it makes like a good headquarters and like I said with that bed anytime you, you need rest you rest in it and uh, when you wake up you, wherever you do for the next few hours you get a 10% bonus to experience. Well rested bonus. Always useful. Yeah, I just uh, was double checking up here. I couldn't remember if there was anything up here or not but there wasn't. So we're going to do the fast travel. And in case you haven't done that, it's pretty easy. You just go to the world map, pick where you want to go. We're going back to Novak. And it just takes a second. Right, so here we're back in Novak. Like I said, I want to sell some of this stuff too. I want to tell the dude up in the dinosaur what we did. So a couple things we need to be accomplished. Welcome. Come on in. I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keep. I think it's time we gave everything back to you. It'll open the room on the second floor. See, so basically they invited you sure to be thing. a part of the town. Have a look. And then you can sell some stuff if he has anything you want, or if anything you want to get rid of. I always do my best to lighten my load and, you know, repair things, keep things up to date. Um, sometimes it's hard to decide what to keep. Will this be useful? But, you know, you don't want to be a hoarder. Become a problem. Even though now oh. that I have the room, I can use that safe for storage, which is also helpful if you think you're going to need something later on in the game. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Sure like, thing. The stealth have boys look. have a use, um, but they're kind of heavy. So sometimes it's good if you want to save them, to stick them in the safe, and then you can come back for them when you need the time arises. What is it? Excuse me. A little tired, sorry. Doing this right before bed and while everybody's sleeping. I've been trying to get this done the past few days, man, but it's just been crazy. Right now, uh, my wife's in the back praying, so, and my kids are asleep, or, um, well, my oldest is asleep, and, and my second oldest is in the back, and my son is on the bathroom, so I have a little bit of quiet time. Um, but the past few days have just been a little crazy, so I haven't been able to put anything out. Um, the way I wanted to. 
I could only get a little seven minute in, seven minute one in. By the skin of my teeth, I had to hurry and get that done. As soon as I was done, it was like, wow. And I don't know if that happens to you guys. You set yourselves up. I mean, I don't have an office or anything, so I just kind of have to find a space in the house that's quiet and sit down and take care of the stuff, you know, setting up the video, doing the cuts, and then going back and doing the voiceover. Um, so I don't know if you guys have that kind of issue going on with you, um, but I definitely do. I mean, today I was all set to do it. And uh, next door, they, they start working on the house. They're tearing up the floor. And I don't know if they're running a buzzsaw or what, but you could, I could hear it. I could see my mic was picking it up on the screen, so that was no good. And I sit there and I say, okay, well, I'll, I'll shut down my uh, my movie studio uh, software. And I'll just, you know, look through the emails and I'll get up and go do something else. So by the time I'm done with the emails, I realize 10 minutes has gone by and it's been stone silent. So I said, oh, great, it must be done for the day. So I fire it back up, bring up my save, uh, get my get my uh, project ready, and then what do you know? Burn! There it goes right again. They start right back into it, and so that just wasn't happening. But uh, so if you, that guy, that kind of stuff happens to you, I'd like to hear about it too. How you guys deal with it? Um, I'd love to have my own like little space, little studio, to work this stuff out. Not to separate myself from my family, but just really to have time. Uh, peace and quiet to where I can focus on getting this done and making sure I'm turning out quality stuff for you guys. And again, like I think I've shared back on the screen, if you notice, uh, when I need to, I don't usually use the drugs as a character um, because there's always a problem of addiction and running out and it just affects things. But I you do buy them because of how light they are. They, you know, they don't affect your weight. Um, in the game, but they do carry a value. So if you need something that, you know, he doesn't have anything you want, or you have just too much heavy stuff and you want to trade it for lighter stuff, so you can take it to somebody who has more money, that's a good option. Is uh, loading up on, on chems, taking them to a better guy, to somebody else, and then selling them off, because the other person will have more money. And one of the uh, interesting things I found to do on here, is to get your barter boosted all the way up, get your speech all the way up, and then some of the guys, when you trade with them, you can actually get more than what it's worth, and you can go back and forth and make money off of it. Once I get to that part in the game, when my skills are up that high, I'll make sure I point that out again, but that's a good way to uh, get a little extra cash. The other way, and the way that I get the uh, trophy for um, the courier that broke the bank, I think it is, um, it's when you get banned from all the casinos. Is by getting your your luck driven all the way up, and that really really helps with blackjack 21. And uh, you start off by giving yourself a couple extra points in luck, like I did, and then um, you, one of the perks is to add points to your special abilities, to your to your stats. So you add a couple there, and then there's also welcome back. Can I get you anything? Then there's sure also thing. an uh -huh. augmentation we can get, which I'll show you later. Um, you can pay, and uh, one of the doctors around New Vegas, she can upgrade each of your special stats one time for enough caps. Uh, now, the trick is you got to have a high enough endurance, I think. Whatever your endurance is, that's how many you can get. So if you have uh, seven or you higher, you'll be able to get... I'm counting on you. <clears throat> really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. I'll just uh, listen to him real quick. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. And it's kind of creepy how close Boone is to him right now. No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get squared. Little creatures like that are fun. It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Hope that helps. I owed you. Yeah, see ya. I see you now. Oh, yeah, they separated. Cool. Um, and just so you know, if you're wondering, wow, how does this cutscene go so fast? I actually cut out some of the footage that was unnecessary. The little door loading scenes, I cut some of that stuff to make it go faster. I'm gonna go to his room real quick. 
interestingly enough, um, uh, yeah, he has a lot of this information on the computer. Whenever you're trying to hack a computer, just take your time and be careful. Um, if you can't do it in the first three, exit out. First three tries, exit out and come back in and you can keep doing it over and over and over again until you get it. And that's much better than being locked out and having to try to use that stupid skill. Evening. So Chris. Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. My engineering skills have been coming in handy too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. I think that's one of the benefits about being nice. And, uh, you know, Eddie, he can help you do stuff, y'all. You all your followers can help you do a little something different. He can help you make ammo, which is pretty cool. Not that I need to make any right now, but it's just so, it's just, yeah. Agenda. And this is the room that you get. Like you said, it's at the top. First door. First time you go in, you use the key. There's your bed. They give you a teddy bear. They give you a foot locker. There's a little bit in there. You get your own safe. Safe is completely empty. You get a bathroom. You get a cupboard. Fridge. Dresser. Got some stuff in there you can sell off or use. It's up to you. I plan to sell it off, which is why I'm taking it. Uh, there's just a bunch of random junk laying around the room. Got your own bathroom. First aid box. So, you know, being a nice guy and helping out and having these benefits. Uh, and of course, like I said, you can sleep in here, and uh, which I will do, and you will see that it gives you a well-rested bonus. And that bonus, like I said, gives you a 10% boost. And like I think I mentioned before, I always like to sleep until it's daytime again. I don't like to. Uh, <clears throat> I don't like running around at nighttime. It just makes it easier to see. So if you made it this far with me, I appreciate you watching. Always love to have you guys stop by, give me your comments, thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you let me know any videos you need me to watch. Add them to the comments, send me an email. Jesus bless you, and good gaming.